It's this <laughs> stunning, right? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Joanne here. <laughs> so glad to be filming another video. I'm excited because, I mean, it's giving consistent. It's giving in my bag. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm really excited to be filming this video. So this is my foundation routine. Um, and as someone who does makeup, Oh, he's very invested in makeup I do tend to switch up my routine quite a bit but like right now this is what like I'm loving this is the techniques that I'm going back to so for example there are ways in which people do their makeup for example other people tend to do concealer and contour and blushes first and then put foundation on top of that and then there are people who do the foundation and put concealer and contour on top of that and there are people who use powder foundations and stuff like that so just you know so there are various ways in which you can do your foundation and I think it's important to also know what type of look you want and what look you want to go for in order to know what technique you should follow in order to get what you want yeah so I'm going to be showing you what I like. I do love like a full coverage glam. Like I like to be beat. But I don't like using like a lot of products. So what I try to do is use little products. Not like little, little, little. But I try to use less products. And be smart about how I'm using the products, you know. So I won't use like many contours and bronzes for example. But I will use products that can give me the same effect of a contour or a bronzer but it isn't what it is you know i don't know like trying to work smarter and not harder essentially so i'm going to be showing you that i really enjoy my current foundation routine and today the mood that i'm in is giving very natural face like I woke up like this but I'm B but I woke up like this like it's it's not foreign to my skin tone and like you know my skin like right now my skin is looking quite like I have foundation on <laughs> but we all know that I don't have foundation on but like that's what I want to achieve today like I don't want to go too crazy but I will be telling you other things that I do implement on days where I do maybe feel going it do feel like going a bit extra than I typically would or that I would today we will see how it goes after all and yeah um I hope you do enjoy this video if you like it give it a thumbs up comment share and yeah share with your friends because like I said in my other video why would you want to hold such gold to yourself share so that everyone can be pretty okay and have a nice foundation routine you know also just FYI it is a rainy day here in South A okay let me not say South A because you know it could be dry in other parts of South Africa but it is a rainy day so if you ha hear that little drizzle in the back it's little right now but if you hear it excuse me but I do hope that if anything it, it adds to the ambiance because I feel very calm I feel very I don't know, I feel very relaxed, you know, so yeah, um, yeah, let's get started. <laughs> okay, so I am going to start off with obviously priming. So this is currently the primer that I am using. It's from Essence and it's a multi-action protecting primer with which has blue light protection and SPF 15. So this is great for if you're wearing your makeup during the day, but to be quite honest, I really don't 
care too much about what the primer has if it has light protection then that's great because i'm on my phone quite a lot i also use my laptop quite a lot so for that i'm i'm grateful for it and if i'm gonna be out and about with my face beat then yeah it's great but other than that get you any primer that will cater to your skin concerns i'm gonna follow up with my fix and last from essence and this is just to help my makeup last longer Okay, next step, which we all know because this is very important for me and I cannot skip this unless I really do not want flawless looking base. I go in with this Lego concealer in the shade Fawn for color correcting. So I apply this wherever I have darkness that I want to correct and darkness that I feel that it needs extra love and attention such as around my mouth as you may have seen it's a little darker because I love I have a little mustache so you can let that dry out a little before you go in and blend just to make sure you have maximum coverage but to speed up the process I'm gonna be using this fan okay and then I'm gonna take a foundation brush and just stamp over it I want to keep all the coverage that's there so I'm literally not swiping just buffing and that's why I use a flat top foundation brush for this dip I really like how that looks <laughs> okay um if I am going to like an event or something or I know that the weather is gonna be an extreme so like very hot then I would maybe set this with translucent powder just to make sure that it's extra flawless or if it like I said an event um, just to make sure that also when I photograph I don't have any smile lines but for everyday makeup I don't think there's anything wrong with having like a few smile lines just so the makeup is a bit lifted a little natural you know that's what makes my makeup natural for me so that's the process that I follow so if you would like you can sit this or if you have like oily skin then you can go ahead and sit that my current favorite makeup I mean foundation combination is the Chloe's by Huda Beauty skin tint and the Lancome Tarnity Doll Ultra Wear foundation I'm currently using the sample because my foundation broke so I just used this one my shade is okay and the Lancome Tarnity Doll I'm a shade 7 stable and the um, the skin tint from Glowish is 08 so I put out as much of this Lancome foundation that will come out which is usually I think a drop or a pump this is usually more than enough like I said pretty much a lot I usually do two pumps of foundation a, a, a pump not a drop a pump of the skin tint from Huda Beauty and then I will take a brush and just blend that in so I'm just gonna apply the foundation and as you can see I have used up most of the foundation and then you can use a setting spray I tend to go in with this switch beauty one not a setting spray it's more skin mist but I enjoy it on my skin even in my makeup it keeps my makeup looking fresh for longer and my skin healthy underneath all this makeup and then what I like to do is take a flat foundation brush and I first 
really really make sure that the foundation is applied all over my skin before I buff it out with the foundation brush. I really feel like it makes the application look so much better compared to when I just go in and blend. I think that having the foundation really properly distributed all over my face or equally distributed makes for a more airbrushed and good look so well blended in my opinion and then when that is done I take my normal foundation brush and I tap all over and you can even go in again with your setting mist or your skin mist just to make sure you blend really properly and I blend into the neck around the ears avoiding the under eye you can see that this application looks very very beautiful and even the blend I'm just gonna zoom in so you can really 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 see this for what it is in HD baby we are going to step right into contour so contour and blush so I love to use a cream contour and I also like to use a cream blush so for my cream contour I'm gonna be using the LA girl concealer in espresso and I'm gonna be using my switch beauty palette bubble blush cheek tint palette for my blush shades I'm not giving very aesthetics because I obviously use this a lot but this is my blush palette and yeah so as you can see there were some like skin tone shades in this blush palette so I'm definitely going to also use them just to amplify my contour and this is what I was speaking of in the beginning speaking of working smarter, smarter and not harder so I'm going to be still using blush and I'm going to be layering lots of it but not only will it perform the function of blush it will be performing the function of contour and bronzing too so I like that so much I tried out this thing where I used the Scarlet Hill highlighting drops with mixed with my cream contour and I added that together and that was very 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 pretty it gave me such a nice glow from within and it wasn't very stark just quickly this is where i applied my contour on my cheekbones on my forehead on my nose uh, my, the bridge of my nose this little button of my nose and here in the corners because i do have a big nose my nose is not like thin and eurocentric so if I don't contour there, my nose looks very weird. It looks like it wasn't thought of in the makeup process. So I contour there just to tie it in all together and so it can actually look like my actual nose. And then I just go around my lips so they look extra juicy and plumpy when for when I apply my lip products and then I just go under my chin and that's where I contour. So I tried not to apply too much. You can see like I apply it in different places but it's not as much as I typically would go as I'm going to be using more products so I'm gonna take the shade brown sugar which is a blush shade and I'm just gonna apply it right on top of my contour this is like a skin tone shade for me so it doesn't really show on my skin tone but it's there and it adds a nice gentle warmness that I like and then there's another darker one which is called bronze goddess and i'm just gonna add it like right there on top not too much 
I'm also gonna add it here, just a little, and then I'm gonna go in with brown sugar here since I didn't go in with brown sugar. It's giving very defined here, but as you go upwards, it's getting a lot softer. I think I used a lot of that Illegal Concealer, so just use less than I did, and then it will do exactly what needs to be done. And then I'm just gonna run over this. You see that I'm achieving so much warmth of a contour only just because I had added blush in contour shades okay my mirror is down here so don't mind me looking down it's blocking my light hence I am doing it down here I feel like it's very hard to see where the foundation starts and the contour starts just because of where or of how rather I did my blending yeah and just blend in the surrounding areas and then I'm just gonna bring in the nose bridge contour and I'm actually gonna wipe off some of the excess products because it's just becoming darker and darker and I think I'm gonna take this shade sunset blur as my blush shade I'm not gonna be adding the cream or the liquid highlighter like I said earlier simply because I actually just really like how this look looks right now with the like no blush vibe but I'm still gonna add blush so I don't wanna add highlighter or let me say I like the browns vibe so I'm just adding blush also gonna add some to the tip of my nose and also here at the bottom I'm going to just tap out the blush just to blend it out onto the cheek and then afterwards I'm going to blend it in with my contour I also really like applying blush here for the cohesive look so not too much like not too low in the middle but here I, I really enjoy bringing my contour down into my eyebrows it's not necessary to go that far down but I enjoy the look I enjoy that one it gives very sun kissed it gives very black girl so yeah um as you can see that also adds like some nice cohesiveness so take your brushes and go back in and blend till you have the desired look you know blend until your arm hurts or your hand hurts then maybe it is finally properly blended now for concealer the concealer i have been enjoying recently is this multitasking one from Rimmel London. I'm just gonna apply just a dot there. It is a very full coverage concealer. So you don't even need like, like crazy crazy. This is the L'Oreal Paris more than concealer concealer, but just creamier. It dries as quick. It it is full coverage doesn't need to be set like that foundation so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a foundation brush just for this area and now that i've blended in those two areas with my brush i'm gonna reverse contour And then while we're here, I'm going to add this Revlon Candid Concealer and it's in the shade 050. And I'm going to add that in the very inner corner and outline my nose contour. 
So typically I like my concealer to sit and dry down so usually I would apply my concealer and do my contour and blush but because of this concealer it dries pretty quickly so I just uh, do my contour and blush and then I do this area blended in first and then I go in and I blend in the concealer. So for the concealer under my eyes I enjoy using a sponge. The sponge is from Sorbet and it is damp right now. Before I set everything, I'm gonna apply more blush. I like to go into the setting process with like a very strong blush base. Blush is meant to fade away. Like, like it fades away naturally even like throughout the day. You know that blush is the first thing that tends to fade off your face. So that's why I really enjoy like having like very pigmented blush when I go into the setting process like with the setting powder and hence I'm reapplying now and I also like applying almost directly under my eye as you can see like even in my blending I'm blending almost directly into my under eye I am in my under eye region over here and then I like blending everything and making sure that if I had to have that the way it is right now, like if I had to carry that with me for the rest of the day, I'd be okay with it. And I wouldn't be okay with the most contour being so short. So I blend it in. And yeah. In between the edges, this is now my foundation brush. I'm blending in between the edges, adding the coverage with my tools just to make sure that I have the look that I want and not the look that the face is giving me, you know. So, this is how we look pre setting. So I am using the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder in Banana Bread to do the setting of mine. And I'm just setting where I highlighted. I'm just gonna with a very little powder set my blush and contour before I go in with something that's quite different. So that's nice and set. I can even close this powder up. So the next step that I like to do not entirely new but I like to go in with fit me powders at this point so these two to be specific the stalker one is 340 well 330 toffee and the other one is 312 golden so this 330 toffee I use to set the rest of my face so if you have two shades of your uh, loose setting powder then that's great you can use it but I only have that one shade which is my under eye shade so what I do is I swirl the back of my beauty sponge into this and then I tap off the excess like normal and then I set the rest of my face so this sets my face it gives me back color and it also helps blend in that Huda Beauty this baking powder because it's also pigmented the Huda Beauty one so 
just to remove like that white cost vibe I go on with this and I'm pretty sure you can see that there's a lot more color in my skin and it looks beautiful even my highlight looks cuter and then I take the golden one and this is the shade just tap a little just a little and then this is just to revive and extra set under my eye this is just to revive the lightness and I don't know if you can see like this side is getting very muted because you remember we went over with the 330 toffee and then this side is getting very highlighted so I don't want to be too highlighted I just want it in this very area and then just to dust off that excess powder that I have I'm just gonna take this brush with nothing on it and just softly 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 not harsh at all I'm going to go over everything and just make sure that it's blended here you can even go in with extra powder and the darker shade but I think I am fine so at this point I'm going to spray my face again just to melt in all those powders okay I'm first going to dry off my hair just a little and then I really want to press in all those powders I'm going to quickly bronze up my face. So I'm going to use the California, California Beaming Bronzer and this is from NYX. As you can see it's broken so I'm not going to lift it up. I'm just going to use it from where it is. What makes me so upset with this bronzer is that I literally fixed it like two days ago and then I dropped it again. So I'm very annoyed <laughs> to say the least. So I'm going to tap up the excess and then with this Beauty Treats bronzer, I mean face palettes, face contour palettes, I go over this area. So this is the point that we're at with the makeup look and as you can see we're looking very cute. <laughs> so uh, I want to try like the half lash style but without cutting my lashes because I feel like when I do that like then the lash doesn't sit as nicely so I literally just apply the lash more towards the middle and as you can see there's more going on on the outside than there is on the inside and I love that. So okay in terms of the base we have reached the point where we can apply blush so sticking on the um orange notes i'm gonna use this yardly terracotta blusher i'm gonna take this big fluffy brush and i'm just gonna tap 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 i think not too much because this look is kind of giving natural you can't see wait let me see if I'm seeing correctly you can kind of see where the blush went but it's not really there so here's my brush I'm gonna apply that in a swirling motion and I don't need to worry about lifting off any product because remember we set our face earlier. And I'll just lift on my brush. You 
just gonna go all around a bit. Then I'm gonna take some highlighter. I'm gonna be using this Revlon one, the Skin Lights Prismatic Bronzer in the shade Golden Glimmer. As you can see, it's a beautiful gold. This, however, I'm going to use on just the bridge of my nose. I feel incomplete without a nose highlight. Simply because there must be some shine somewhere. That's insane. <laughs> oh, this is so pretty. It's, it looks like it has glitter. That's not my first time using this, but why is it looking so good? I'm not gonna apply to the rest of my face as I said earlier. And then for the last time, I'm gonna go in with my setting spray. And that's enough, my friends. Then I'm just gonna do a quick lip combo. I know this is in a, like a video where I was showing everything. But I enjoy including my lip combos, so I'm going to show you. And that is the final look. Um, the skin is giving what needed to be gave. I'm gonna even increase the light so you can really see for what it is. I'm just gonna brush my eyebrows because I know those tend to be really and really. Oh, I love King. It's the spot. Yeah, the look is really really giving even that set face oh this blush i think this is my first time enjoying this blush i've had it for like a minute now but i've never used it to the extent where i enjoyed it like it's gorgeous i'm i'm in love with the whole look i don't know if you can tell but i'm just i'm eating it up thumbnail if you found anything useful or you will be trying anything from this foundation routine comment down below let me know let me know what is actually helpful or what you found crazy in this if there was anything that was crazy or what you really thought was a game changer um yeah and if you will be trying any parts of this routine if your routine looks any like this anything like this ooh, i'm feeling myself too much the english is running away tell me if your routine looks anything like this and share some tips in the comments you know this is this is a place where we can all learn so if you want to tell me what you do that's also a game changer maybe i don't know you first turn around three times before you sit with the skin tone powder and it makes you look like a god himself did your makeup then tell me like i'd like to know you know <laughs> so yeah share that all down below in the comment in the comments everything i use for the skin will be in the description box she's gorgeous it's the hair for me it's the slick back for me one thing about me i will rock a slick back and my hair is long enough now to be put into a pondo so even though it's not gonna look cute i will make a way i will make a way and i will wear a pondo anyway guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe um yeah until next time